In this video, one will be able to understand the block diagram, schematics and the concept related automatic generation control. I am Mohan B.S. working as assistant professor and depend productively SGPAT. The two important parameters in PAS system are if you can take the guess based on these two, these two are the electrical quantities which we have to keep a tab in PAS system, one being voltage, another being frequency. Frequency deviates due to, as we've seen in the earlier videos in module one, it deviates due to imbalance between generation and load. So basic generator control loops. So we have two basic generator control loops. Let us come to that shortly. So we have seen in, or you understand the concept that P is directly proportional to one of the electrical quantities and Q, another electrical quantity is being directly proportional to another electrical quantities. So P is directly proportional to F and Q is directly proportional to V. So the two loops are automatic voltage control regulator and second one is automatic load frequency controls which is actually known as automatic generation controlled. So VAR, the automatic voltage regulators are used to control the terminal voltage and Q of generator by keeping a tab or control over your field excitation of your synchronous generator. Whereas automatic generation control, automatic load frequency controls are used to control real power to maintain system frequency by controlling the speed of prime mover. So as we have seen that NS is active proportional to F. We call it a synchronous speed because your mechanical input is synchronized to your electrical output. So that's how we can say frequency is directly related to your speed of prime mover and in turn also control the real power. So Q and V, they are controlled. The technique is called automatic voltage regulators. P and F, they are controlled with respect to automatic generation controlled. Now, both active and reactive power demands are never steady and they continually change with the rise or fall trend of load. So load, we can categorize them, we'll be seeing them shortly. Steam input to the generators must therefore continuously regulate to match the active power demand, failing which the machine speed will vary with consequent change in frequency which might be highly undesirable. The excitation of generator must be continuously regulated to match the reactive power demand with reactive power, reactive generation and terminal voltage. In modern large interconnected system, manually we cannot regulate, it's not possible, therefore automatic generation and voltage regulators equipment is installed in each generator. So automatic generation control, it is with respect to your real power and frequency, voltage regulations are with respect to voltage and reactive power. So as to be discussed, load changes and it can be identified as small varying change in mean and fast random changing. So small varying loads actually can be taken care. The controllers are set for a particular operation condition and they take care of small changes in load demand without frequency and voltage exciting the prescribed limit, exceeding the prescribed limits. With the passage of time, as the change in load demand becomes larger, the controllers must be reset either manually or automatically. So we can say for small changes, active power is dependent on internal machine angle and is independent of bus voltage. Bus voltage is dependent on machine excitation and is independent of machine angle delta. So machine angle is monitored by change in frequency. So design regulators for fast random changes else system will be prone for hunting in excessive wear and tear of the mach rotor machines and control equipments. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe to enhance your knowledge further.